Alright guys, so in this video, I'm going to show you how you can long or short a position using Nbot tool. So on Nbot, you want to go to market. And here we have the sentiment. Usually when we see greed, okay, if we see green, it means that the market would reverse. Okay, if we see too much fear, usually the market will reverse to the upside. If we see green or greed, the market usually reverses to the downside. Now, I will show you another cool way that you can short or long a coin. You can go to all and then you can click on the 24 hour change. And you ideally want to see which coin that is over 10%. Okay, this one, for example, is negative 11%, mass USDT. So, if this is a good coin, usually it will bounce back. If you want to be safer, make sure this is a good coin. You can do some research. If let's say the first one is maybe Cardano or Ethereum, you can see if it's minus over 10%, it has high chance to reverse. So, if you look at my trading view, I want to search for mass USDT. And step number two is to confirm if this is indeed oversold. Now, from trading view, it is actually overbought. This is overbought area, overbought area, and this is still overbought area. If you want, try to wait until this thing at the bottom and this thing at the bottom. Okay. Again, I already show you the indicator. You can go to the private training okay that i send to you make sure you email me on this email address okay i give you this training if you use the link down below to sign up so that's the thing that you should consider maybe i will look at other coins eng also the same Hive is also the same. So if you see all these things, they are mostly overbought. So instead of finding long position, you want to try to find short positions. So I will click the 24 hour change again. Now this time, this one are very, very overbought. You can see plus 20%. So the chance of it going down is very, very high. So FET USDT, I'm going to look for FET USDT. This one, you can see, this is probably a good short position, right? You can see this is overbought, overbought. Only this line is a little bit down there. You should actually wait it at the top. Or maybe we can look for GRT. Okay, you can see GRT is also very overbought. It is most likely it's going to go down. And you can see there are a bunch of other coins that you can try. So if you see this go down already, you should close your end board position. Okay, if you see this go down, make sure you close your end board position. You can one shot it or you can cut lost it. So that's a good way to find whether to long or short in the end board interface. Okay, you can find the coin in there. That's step number one. Step number two, you do confirmation. You come to your trading view. You can use your own indicator if you want to. Yeah, this is the way that you should uh, trade. So I have a big announcement. I'm not very active on this channel. I have five different YouTube channel. I'm so busy and I apologize, guys. I cannot publish content as regularly as I want to. I have too many things going on. I have five different channels. And I also have this main channel. If you are interested in making money by making a YouTube videos, you can go subscribe to my other channels. I have health and fitness channel. I have so many other channels, but I'm most active on this channel. Uh, this crypto channel is basically just for fun. You know, I have a lot of students and members. I need to teach them how to grow their YouTube channel. 
that's the reason why I'm not so active on this crypto channel. So hopefully you understand that. Uh, maybe I will try my best to post at least, you know, once a week or maybe once a month on this channel to update you on the trading side. And, you know, I do love crypto. I, I do still invest in crypto, a lot of them. Uh, mostly are in Bitcoin. You know, if you want to play very, very safe, you can just buy low, sell high. Okay, buy good coins like Ethereum or Bitcoin. You wait the indicator at the very bottom. You just buy low and wait for it to go oversold and then you can sell it for profit okay that's if you want to be very very safe if you want to trade futures you can do short as well if you want to again at the end of the day it's your decision is how you manage your money but yeah thank you for watching i hope these tips kind of helped you uh, to make more profit in your trading journey and i will see you on the next video